Today we're going to make a variation on the classic, the Dirty Martini. For this drink, you're going to need a coupe glass, a measuring cup, a measuring spoon, a bar spoon, a fancy toothpick, a Hawthorne strainer, and a mixing glass. This drink uses gin, dry vermouth, olive brine, and olives for garnish. Bond usually took his martinis with lemon peels. He took his kangaroo kickers that way too. He rarely had a dirty martini. In Thunderball, Felix Leiter told Bond all about a bar that serves great martinis with jumbo olives. Then when they finally go, Leiter's disappointed by how much volume the olive takes up in his drink. So he reams out the bartender for serving him a drink that's half garnish. He believed the bar was trying to cheat him. He paid 80 cents for a double martini and he wanted his money's worth. I like using two olives. Leiter might hate it, but I assure you it doesn't take up much volume. A dirty martini is closely related to a Gibson. Both are dry martini derivatives and both swing toward the savory part of the palate with their heavily brined garnishes. But the dirty martini takes it a step further with a little olive brine. Some recipes are a little heavy handed with the olive brine. If you like gin soaked olive infused salt water, don't let me stop you from drowning the drink. But a little olive brine goes a long way. It can easily overpower the drink. Make it the way you like it. But I like using a teaspoon or even as little as a bar spoon of olive brine in the drink. It's the olive brine that gives it that hazy look of a smoggy LA afternoon, which is in stark contrast to the crystal clarity of a dry martini, hence the name Dirty Martini. We'll start by chilling our glass. Fill it with ice and water and set it aside. Next we're going to measure two ounces of gin. Add that to the mixing glass. Measure half an ounce of dry vermouth. Add that to the mixing glass. Measure a teaspoon of olive brine. Add that to the mixing glass. Add ice and stir. Since this is such a strong drink, you really want to chill this one down and give it that much needed dilution. Dump the ice from your coupe glass and strain the contents of your mixing glass into your chilled coupe glass. Spear a couple olives on your fancy toothpick and drop it in for garnish. And there you have it, the Judy Martini, the way Bond likes it. Just don't tell lighter. Cheers. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.